All right, so uh, how about being able to create brand new courses? All right, so let's do that. Um, now, to be able to post a course, we're, we're going to be using the post uh, method instead, right? Right. The convention says to use post, so we'll create a, um, uh, a post uh, mapping, and and I'll use the same identical, right? The same identical uh, URL. And the only way that this will be able to tell them apart is because one is a get and the other one is a post. And this will be a public. And what we'll do for now, we're just going to echo back the course that we're going to send in. Right, so this will be something like create course that takes in as a course. And for now, we're just going to echo it back. We're just going to return the course. Uh, again, this function all by itself, it wouldn't do much, right? You just pass it an instance and it just returns you back the instance, right? The magic here is that this is mapped to an endpoint, right? And I can call it through the HTTP uh, protocol, right? All right, so let's try that. Now, if we get here to the browser, we, we see that we can't do that from the browser because the browser, the only thing that the browser could ever do is do a get, right? It can do a post uh, posting a form, right? But that's not the same thing, right? Be, that's, that's encoded in a different way. Right? It's not encoded in a JSON object. We want to send a JSON object over, right, for it to be converted into a Java object. So to do that, we're going to use instead a, a tool called Postman that allows you to generate uh, gets and posts and puts and delete, and it's your new best friend. So let's uh, let's create the um, let's create a, uh, a here uh, a collection, and this will be for uh, web dev web dev. Uh, SP19 and in that brand new collection there it is we're gonna run my favorite so I can bring it up here there it is and in here we're gonna create a a, uh, a request add a request and we're gonna call it a, let's see if we can use the ones that were already there so find find all courses okay and we're gonna add it to web dev SP19, and we're going to close all these other ones. Save, save, there you go. There it is, find all courses. And find all courses is basically this whole thing. This is the, the URL with no ID. We can save that, and then we can run it, and the response is what we would expect, yes? So it's the same thing we did on the browser, uh, but the, the point here is that we can do much more than just gets, right? So let's create here a uh, add another request, and we'll call it. I'm going to call the same name that I am calling it in the uh, in the API, right? In the and this is going to be a post, right? Uh, we're going to need to have to pass in a a um, uh, in the body some raw content, and it's not going to be text. It's going to be JSON. Right? So, so already allows you to configure these things. Notice that having done that, notice that it went ahead and added for me as part of the headers the, the content type application JSON for me automatically. Right? I didn't have to remember this. But typically I, uh, you, you would know to, to put that in there. Right? So, so in the body I can now add a JSON object typically following the name convention that I use in Java. Right? So I think it was ID and title. Right, that's what we said, right? And uh, so here's a JSON object and uh, ID, and then, and then the number would be 345, and maybe the title uh, is um, you know, CS5500. Okay? Save it, and then I can send it, and it says request URL is empty. Oh, of course, obviously. Uh, so let me copy that, and this is posting it to API slash courses. Yes? So let's do that, let's save that, and let's send. It sent it, and here's the response down below. Notice that the response is a 405. <laughs> uh, it doesn't like that. Uh, maybe we didn't restart the server? Maybe, let's see. Uh, let me see if I didn't restart the server. Probably that's what it is. Let me restart the server. We wrote it, and maybe I didn't restart the server. Uh, let's see. Okay, all right, let's try that again. <coughs> Send. I mean, this time it at least it returns something, but null. Uh, why did you return null? 
I'm sorry? Right, I'm not. Okay, so notice that what, what we're doing here is that uh, the post is getting here, right? Uh, and uh, it, it is instantiating this course instance, but it doesn't have anything. There's no mapping of whatever is coming in from in the body to this object, right? What we want to be able to do is extract the, 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 the JSON body and map it to this course object. And for that, we're going to use the request body decorator, right? That's going to parse, it's going to extract the uh, XML or JSON uh, data that comes in the body, right? And it's going to map it to this uh, Java, Java data, data type. So let's restart that. So if we run this again, third time is a charm. There it is, right? So that's the JSON object that I sent, and then it came back to us. Ideally, what I'd like to be able to do is perhaps add it to an existing list of courses. So let's try doing that. Let's uh, stop this for a second. And uh, what we like, it, it maybe do the following. Uh, instead of this being a hard-coded list of courses, maybe this would be a list, because a list would allow me to add things to the, to the list, right? An array of courses wouldn't allow me to add things. So this is, this is courses, courses, and, and this is a new array list of courses, which is empty. And there it is. And then maybe I could um, uh, just add to this and say courses, courses, dot add, uh, CS5600 and courses.add uh, CS5610. There we go. All right, so let's try it again, see if it breaks. Oh. Um, what are you complaining? Oh, no longer am I returning an array of courses, so I'm, it has uh, this brand new data type. Uh, either whether it's a list or an array, it's uh, converted into JSON to just as a plain array. Right? Either one is converted into arrays. So that, and is that it? And we restart. So let's see if this still works. Okay, so I can still retrieve that particular uh, object, and I can still retrieve uh, all the courses, just as plain arrays. Right? But now I can go further and say, well, I don't just want to uh, echo the course. What I could do is instead add to the existing courses. I could say courses.add, the brand new course that you passed in as an argument. Right? And then I'll return the, 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 the course that was generated. Typically, this would, be, this would be a course that has been inserted into a database right, and comes back with, with some unique identifier. Typically, uh, when I send this uh, over, uh, the, I would omit the ID. Because I don't know the ID, right? Probably I have delegated this to, to the database, and the database is going to calculate a unique identifier for me, right? So, so this, this I, would, I would leave it up to the database. Uh, here we don't have a database just yet, so we just have to make sure we, you know, we make our own unique constraints here. Anyway, so let's uh, restart here, so we can add a brand new course. And let's do a post again. Okay, it worked. Uh, if I come back here and I refresh, notice that my new CS 5500 is there, right? It has been added to that to that list, and you know I can just refresh anytime that I want. It's it'll be there until the server comes down, and I, it restarts, and it'll, I have our, again some dummy uh, static content. <coughs> Everybody okay? Right. Um, so obviously the the other ones that are of interest here are the uh, put. Right, and we'll do that next.